Well, I was planning to do weapon tests today, but the weather gods objected. As you can see, it is rather moist. Not the right weather for either swords or camera equipment. But it is the right weather for gaming. And as the subscriber poll showed, most people are in favor of keeping them on the main channel, the way I've done it since 2012. All right, so today I want to show you a bit of Salt and Sanctuary. This has been described as 2D Dark Souls, and that's very appropriate. It shares many similarities with Dark Souls. Among other things, uh, you have something that you need to um, level up that you actually drop on death, which is a little annoying. Oh, and enemies can do a lot of damage very quickly. And I should not be dealing with this. There we go. Oh, there's actually one survivor. Okay. And, um, yeah, in this game it's salt rather than souls. And these alien things, at least I, I think they completely look like xenomorphs, are extremely annoying. They gang up on you a lot and can do quite a bit of damage. Which I do not really approve of, I have to say. <coughs> yep, yeah, so I've been playing this game lately quite a bit, but I'm, I'm not particularly good at it, that's for sure. Not yet, at any rate. All these things. Go away, things. <laughs> I like my chain lightning. That's not what it's actually called, but I'm just gonna call it that. Lightning machine gun, pretty much. Full auto lightning, something like that. One interesting thing about the magic system here is unless you have a particular ring that avoids that problem, you will create an elemental imbalance by using, if you keep using one particular element, you see that bar up there? So right now the the lightning side has filled up and if I if I do that too much if I use the same element all the time then and the bar fills up it'll kill me so <laughs> I have to keep an eye on that and then occasionally switch between lightning and fire if need be I can also let's see here and also do the parry if I can pull this off I'm yeah there we go I'm not terribly good at that generally but you can do this too oh hi I do not like you. I will zap you. So, see, as soon as I, I use the other element, it resets immediately. Which is nice. Actually, this guy is best dealt with like this. I find... So, similar to Dark Souls, even with the mage here, you do often, or at least I do often tend to, um, use the weapon. Although I think so far I'd say it's probably easier in this game to, to go pure caster. Which is nice. If you just get enough um, po well potions not necessarily in this case it's spiced mead. This varies depending on the sanctuary you, you last stocked up at. But you know Magic refill thingy, technical term. This game is pretty bloody, as you can see. It can be very punishing, that's for sure. What, one thing I really find annoying here is there is more focus on platforming. I mean, in Dark Souls, you also have quite a number of areas where you can plunge to your death quickly. Wait, is this... Oh, right, this is the area where the boss was, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, and I do want to stay here. In fact, I'm just going to restock here. This is a, a smaller shrine that also restocks your stuff and um, makes you respawn there. So this dude, I find, is pretty easy with this spell here. So I basically just need to... <laughs> dodge past him and he'll just burn to death which is rather satisfying whoa what the have I done why did I just uh, damn it I guess that's my punishment for talking psycho 
stuff. You know, I just roll past him and he burns to death. It's so satisfying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so sometimes it's easy to fall off a platform because just, you know, holding down as you jump will do that. Oh well. At least there's the thing. So this is uh, more like Bloodborne than Dark Souls in that you have to uh, beat the enemy that took your stuff. These damn skeletons. I do not like these skeletons. You can see how annoying they are with their teleporting. Very annoying. Come on. Just get lost. Not, not like this. <laughs> Get lost in my blade. And stuff. There we go. Swords against skeletons. It's, it just does not seem like the greatest idea. Well, depends on the type of sword. Some swords are pretty good at cutting through bones, so that's fine. Aha! I still got you. You cannot escape. From my fiery, lightningy shenanigans. One technical term after the other. Oh, hi. You look friendly. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, that was all. Okay, you can't even take one barrage. Alright. Noob. You are susceptible to this, aren't you? Oh, nice. A skelly. Actually, yeah, I should probably keep doing the flame orbiters because that should also help against the skeletons. This just gets really fun, you know what? Like, oh! Are you serious? I really like the art style in this. Um, although, I have to say I wish there was more color, actually. This is very washed out. It's, of course, intentional. Hey, stop biting. <laughs> Why is my stuff biting me? <laughs> what, did you just parry that. Seriously? You cannot parry magics. Because magic. Magic can do anything you want at any given time and there's nothing <laughs> to be done about it. And that, did that skeleton just commit suicide? If that counts when you're undead? Can you commit suicide when you're undead? I, I don't know. Stop dodging. Only I'm allowed to do that. Oh, see? I almost killed myself with the magic there. Gotta be careful. No, I can do it again. So, it's really an, a nicely done game, I have to say. It's, it's very hard sometimes. Although, maybe I'm only saying that because I haven't played it that much yet, so I'm just not that good at it yet. Some people will probably be like, yeah, whatever, piece of cake. No, 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 you won't. I do not approve of this. There are spots where you can drop down safely and you'll never know <laughs> unless you try, which is a bit of a dick move in a game where you can lose so much upon death. It's like, hmm, do I want to lose all the stuff that will allow me to level up? Because there might be something down there which I want, <laughs> or I might fall to my death, who knows. Why is everything locked? This is offensive. Aha. Uh -huh. Shenanigans. So this has some Metroidvania elements to it as well. You get certain abilities that then allow you to get to places that you couldn't get to before. Um, hmm. I'm not really sure. I just... I just died from crashing into the ceiling. Damn you, reverse gravity. Oh, that one again. Yeah. The hard one. <laughs> Kara actually tried playing it for a bit because you can play it cooperatively, but then just ended up rage quitting because, well, <laughs> I understand. This game. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. Don't just take off with my stuff. This is still mine, you know? There. My 18,000 salt, thank you very much. 
Okay, I'm not quite sure yet what the purpose of that reverse thing was over here, but... Eh, reasons. Mysterious reasons of hidden nature and whatnot. So yeah, as you can see, doing the caster thing definitely works nicely. Wait, there's something up there, isn't there? Oh yeah. Two somethings. They will all be electrocuted. Maybe also a little burnt. Yeah. A little burnt too. Tiny bit crispy. Come on, stop your floatiness. There we go. I got a frozen doll. No idea what to do with that yet, but... Shall see. Is there anything over here? No. Not particularly. Let's see. I just got a staff. Is that better? I upgraded the other one, so I doubt it. Oh, wow. Wait a moment. That should be pretty good as soon as I upgrade it. So yeah, upgrading exists here as well. A lot of things... It, it's really so similar to Dark Souls that sometimes I found myself being confused because I tried something, you know, in the way it goes in Dark Souls and I was like, wait, why, why does this not work? Oh, right, it's still a different game. Uh... So... <laughs> Am I supposed to continue here? I... I don't know. But since I, I respawn right there, I think I can risk it. Nope! That's not how it goes. <laughs> I was wondering if there might be an invisible platform or something. Maybe at some point it just totally looks like something should materialize there. But nope, it didn't. Flappy thing, give me my stuff. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? We should probably leave it at this. I don't want to make this video too terribly long. So yeah, in short, I would definitely recommend checking this game out. I'll post a link down below so you can have a look for yourself. Uh, really well done. Again, it's, it can be frustratingly hard, at least at first. But um, yeah, if you like Dark Souls... If you like Metroidvania games and don't mind the difficulty, then absolutely check it out. It's, it's good stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>